Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. It is daily challenge time. We're playing as Eve, daily run. I don't want to know the leaderboards before I start. Let's just get started. I'm gonna try. I'm a little nervous. I gotta admit, I'm a little nervous. I kind of did. What the heck is this bag face? So we're Eve. We also have the razor blade. Maybe Eve starts with the razor blade now? I don't know. Uh, and, and sack, sack head. Which apparently maybe gives us a sack at the start of every floor. Okay, this is a super cool start. <laughs> I've gone 180 degrees uh, right from the start here. You know, that's why they call it the Xbox 360, because when you see it, you turn 360 degrees around and the uh, moon walk away. Um, again, I'm, people are like, hey, don't worry too much about your scores to get started with. It's just, uh, you know, there's bragging rights involved here. I am not to, oh, maybe you get a sack every room or just a greater chance of getting a sack I don't know about that card against humanity pill man or card against humanity card I guess to be more accurate I know there's tinted rock uh, amongst my circle of friends this is the worst damage I've ever taken uh, I am kind of the rebirth guy not necessarily because I'm the best but because I've played the most um, so I feel like I've gotta you know throw my hat in the ring as having a, a pretty good chance of doing well in these dailies obviously I don't have to win Every single one of them, that would be ridiculous, but uh, to have a pretty good performance. Well, that's a new attack. I don't think I've seen that from Little Horn. Would be nice, but I'm not going to worry too much about like a, a score necessarily. I'm going to play my own game. I'm going to try to crank up the absurdity level as high as possible. That almost got me. I still don't think I've been hit by this boss. He's so annoying to hit, but I don't think he's actually managed to hit me. Maybe he got me with that, that homing tier once, but I'm not sure. Which is probably something we should take care of before we do anything else. But if he's going to kill himself on a bomb, life's good. I will take the Pacifier just for the extra HP. I don't know if it gives me anything else. I do feel maybe a little bit faster. And don't we get like, we got like baby tears or something. It might be a tears up. This is something I'll have to think about when it comes to the daily challenge. Oh man, if we could get in there. Little Gish is good enough. Um, this is something I'm going to have to think about on the daily challenges. Because I'm like... Uh, like, Card Against Humanity is going to slow us way down, but also the money that it gives us could be worth it from a consumable standpoint. So you know what? Let's act as if this is not a daily challenge. And I'll Card Against Humanity, and my goal is to get enough money to buy a bomb. Oh my god, we got a bomb. We got a bomb, and we got two of diamonds. Okay, we don't need the money so much anymore. Now we're going to use this bomb back here. I think that'll crack in here. This turns all consumables into sacks? If so, that's like a really fantastic item. We don't need the death card. We're probably better off with two of diamonds. But now I, I feel safe. Oh wow, spirit heart. I feel safe just kind of like pushing my way to the exit. Oh, it's a live bomb! Two of spades I'll just use right now. I feel safe pushing my way to the exit. And um... Then I'm going to use my bombs to get the other Tinted Rocks. I'll try to use two of Diamonds before the end of the floor. And how would we do that? I guess we would go to the shop. But we have a Tinted Rock here first. And that gives us a Golden Chest, which we will open. Which gives us a lot of money, bombs, and two sacks. And those two sacks give us the Sun card, which I... You know what? Why not use here? Maybe we can find the Secret Room and, and be happy about that. And uh, then there's another Tinted Rock right here. You think that's maybe our... Exit? No, second secret room, I mean to say. It's not. We're down to one bomb. And those are not our second secret rooms. I wonder if that algorithm, which is not probably the proper word, but you know what I mean, is uh, is going to be changed. Or is changed, I should say. Per throw, I'm actually very interested in. Because it could give us um, a, a better space bar. Alright, no donation machines on the daily. So, uh, let's try to get in this. I'd like to like pick up remote detonator and reroll... The other items, but don't know if that'll be possible. Seven cents, come on. Come on. World, not necessary. High Priestess does nothing for us. Blow up this Joker here. He's not a literal Joker, you know what I mean, though. Gives us some spiders. We're still gaining points here by, by taking extra time. That was just incredibly dumb. Um, I guess we'll go back and shoot some poop until we get one more cent. And then we can per-throw the... Uh, there we go. Then we can per-throw... The remote detonator and get whatever we want. I mean, we might want the razor blade, but I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, we could also just get broken stopwatch, but... I'll tell you what, let's buy this for the bombs. 
Switch it. Reroll it. Perthro. You get the pills instead, and let's let's try them. Could be worse. Explosive diarrhea is not too bad. Tears up is awesome. Explosive diarrhea again. Range down. Not that bad. So we have a death card, and then in here we have like uh, high priestess world. I guess we'll roll high priestess. And we did. We we took some point penalties for continuing on like this in this roundabout fashion that I did, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm mostly. I wouldn't say worried, but concerned about the fact that I've fudged up the, uh, Horror of Babylon here, but still, like, a pretty good first floor, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> we had some fun with it. Maybe should have saved our Perth Row rune for the deal with the devil, but whatever. It happens. It happens. So, High Priestess, we will save for our boss fight. And we'll just hope for a good deal with the devil. I don't expect to be, like, top 100 at all. Um, I don't think... I'm in that percentile consistently when it comes to the best Binding of Isaac players in the world. I do think I'm pretty good, but I think there's a lot of people that are pretty good out there, so... You know, and these are going to be the most hotly contested dailies in the game's history, probably, so... Um, if I if I could rank above Mathis, I'll, I'll consider that a success if we consistently rank above Mathis. Bear's a bonus. I'm just messing with you, Mathis. But I got... I, I would like to get some revenge on Bear Taffy as well. We'll see. Everyone was like, oh, you shouldn't have taken soy milk on yesterday's run. I don't know, man. The soy milk pickup, I don't know if it made the run better, but it was a lot of fun. I'm liking the sack item right now. If it makes all consumables have a chance to be sacks, that's cool with me. Also, like a ton of uh, tinted rocks on this one so far. We haven't gotten that many spirit arts, but we've gotten enough to, enough to be safe for sure. Lots of batteries as well. If we could only find an item that actually works with them. All right, this guy is getting high priestess, all to hell. Come on, come on. Could bomb these guys. Good dodge, good dodge. Beautiful high priestess. Smoked him. I will take the speed upgrade because we have no choice. Deal with the devil. Uh, we should. Do we have one HP? I think we only have one HP, so I'll take little brimstone. Yeah. Do we want that item? I don't think we need it, so... We got Little Brimstone and the Permanent Horror of Babylon effect. Which is just a great roll doll novel. Uh, we'll crack open these for the Guppy Chance as well. Even without the Guppy Chance, three sacks, man, this is pretty good. We just need a Space Bar item that can actually capitalize. Another two of spades is real strong. We have 18 keys at least. And our damage is looking very, very good right now. I wonder if... No, I was like trying to figure out a way that we could um, guarantee ourselves getting further than just Mom on the daily. Because on some after... Sorry, some Rebirth. I keep getting the names mixed up. But on some Rebirth challenges, you could actually go a little further than picking up the trophy if you manage to um, have like a, a Joker card maybe that teleported you into getting a pedestal from the deal with the devil or something. I don't know if we're able to do that, but Boss Rush does give you, like, a huge point bonus, I think. I mean, Mom's Pad probably beats the Razor Blade for us right now. Especially with all these battery charges showing up. Let's give it a shot. I don't think we want anything from that room. Probably shouldn't have used our keys right away, but that's okay. I'm gonna get a move on because Boss Rush is worth some points. I know I said I wouldn't worry about points that much, but come on, man. It's the great... It's the universal equalizer. This is what shows who's the best at the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. No longer is it whoever can get triple-digit streaks. It's whoever gets the most points with this arbitrary formula. Let's do this. Flooded Caves 1, Curse of the Blind. Um, you know what? <laughs> we'll Mom's Pad this, because I'm... I've never seen this room, and I find myself a little confused about what's going on in here. Little Brimstone as our second familiar is suboptimal, but not bad. HP's looking fine. Why did we get two charges for that room? I guess because it's a slightly larger room? That would make sense, proportionally. No battery charge. Live bomb! Ah, it actually got me. I, I pushed it out of the way when I should not have. Okay, this is very, very poor damage here. I mean, damage taken is a component in the daily challenge score, so uh, you're kind of like hamstringing yourself by, by doing as poorly as I am right now. Let's give this a shot. Dark one shouldn't be too bad. We will cause him to be afraid of us. Uh, Mom's pad wore off in about a quarter of a second. Which I'm not super stoked about. We also can't take a deal now. Unless it has um, some kind of life link component going on. 
We don't have a deal anyway, though. Squeezy's a pretty good pickup for us. Um, let's, uh, let's get a move on here. I'm gonna check out our item room. Ideally, I do want to walk over that stuff. You know what we can do? We can throw a bomb in there. See if it's worth getting. And we got some of the runoff anyway. Got another battery charge. I had a feeling we could probably get that key. So that's, that's a decent haul on that room. If you can't have the ability to fly, that seems like a relatively okay way to handle it. I also feel... Thank you for being Cricket's head. I also feel like maybe there's um a larger than average chance of getting a golden chest or even a tinted rock as well as a golden chest on this area. Or not this area necessarily even, but maybe just with a sack head. I don't know. Book of Shadows. Better? How to jump? Uh, interesting. I wouldn't say better. The sun. The hermit. Uh, let's, let's take our sun card. We should double our shit with two of spades first. Two of spades. Why not take the hermit card instead? Because I, I might end up, uh, doing boss rush. I don't necessarily want to teleport out of boss rush. If we can just do boss rush instead and, and get points for it. This might incentivize doing boss rush for once instead of just, you know, rushing through it and, and finishing it off. Uh, the, the old fashioned way, which is basically... I don't want to say cheating, but scumming it up a little bit to get a free item. Of your choice. Butterbean. This is just god-awful. It's stuff like this where when you see it, you're like, come on. They vetted this daily challenge. They vetted this challenge so you had, um... So you had Cricket's head, but they also vetted it so that Butterbean existed. I'm on to your shenanigans, Tyrone. Uh, that's probably not our secret room. So where would our secret room be? What a... What a fantastic question. I mean, I would assume that our second secret room would be right here. Ah, that'd have been a guppy item. I'd be sitting pretty right now. And, you know, let's take a look. Chaos card. I'll take it. I'll take it for time, even though the sun would probably be better for us. Uh, in terms of visibility, at least. But being able to kill an annoying boss very quickly would be pretty nice. Okay, that boss is dead. I guarantee we can make up some time on this floor. Not versus the norm, but versus, you know, our previous performance. We're up to 28 keys. Good lord. That, uh, if I have to be conservative, I would say that's probably enough keys for us for this run. We can live with it. Crack open this. Use, uh, Book of Shadows, and we will not get hit over the course of this boss fight. This is done. And on Judgment, we can just throw down. We'll blow it up for a better deal with the Devil Chance. And I push my bomb out of the way. Suboptimal decision on my part. The daily challenge is a very scary phenomenon for someone like me who has never really been about min-maxing the game. Because it actually puts... Oh my god, 54 keys. Actually puts like a mathematical formula on the min-maxing, which I'm like, oh man. I gotta, I gotta step up my game. People are gonna be like, uh... They'll be able to min-max it with like an actual Excel spreadsheet of Roomba style pretty soon and I'm gonna be left in the dust on these scores, but I don't think my my talent in Afterbirth or in Rebirth or in Isaac in general has ever been, um, you know, that kind of min-max style. We don't have a choice, we might as well take it. Instead, I'm more about the absurdity and I'm gonna try to get a good um, mix of absurdity and high quality play. You know, best laid plans of mice and men and all that, but we're gonna try. Puberty. Didn't seem to give us any points. There must be some sort of mistake there, Edmonds. Excuse me. Puberty should give you uh, 300 points, I think, when you take it. Just to prove who is and who isn't in uh, giant dad mode. No deal! Contract from below. Wait, is there a deal? No, okay. Sometimes that, like, guitar thing can cover up for a deal. I think we're just going to head down to the next floor. We didn't do shop, but we did do item room. We got our stuff. This is okay. And we got some points again. We're on depths one, and we're about a minute ahead of boss rush. And I'd like to build this run, like, ideally... Oh, two range downs. Ideally, I could get, like, a nun's habit, so I could have multiple uh, charges of Book of Shadows for boss rush. Because I really think doing boss rush might be important for the meta. That is actually really, really strong. That four room. Because if we don't like what we got, we can change it. But we really like Cupid's Arrow. That's a fantastic item for us. And uh, really plays into the whole speed aspect as well. Terrible damage, but got our spirit heart back. I'm kind of, uh, I'm torn. Because it seems like just surviving is the best thing for daily challenge scores. Like, I watched some other people do yesterday's daily challenge. 
And even if they were a little slower, it was mostly just, uh, you know, if you survived, you were in the same point range, so... Or at least close. You know who I really need to beat on today's daily is a Luke. He's been trying to rub it in my face. He's, oh, you'll never get this, you'll never get this. I mean, I got him last time. We gotta try multi-dimensional, baby. Um, by the way, please keep in mind, there is some, you know, if you're photosensitive, multi-dimensional baby can be, uh, a little annoying. But yeah, my... Forget Mathis. Mathis is a nice guy. We're gonna try to knock a Luke off of his, uh, freaking high horse here. That's a joke as well. Luke is a... He's a stand-up guy. Class act, if you will. But I'm about to go... Buck wild on his candy class. That didn't really work. Sounded like a game from, you know, King Studios. Alright, the sun. This this run has become extremely powerful in a relatively short amount of time. I don't even like multidimensional baby that much. I find it very hard to use productively, but uh, there's no denying that if you can get your shots to filter through it, it is really good. I, where did I leave our chaos card? Oh yeah, good to just walk over that, no, no problem. Uh, oh, I guess you know. Why not do this, right? We probably should have done this a lot earlier, but... High Priestess, Death Card. I'm an idiot. We made it out! Okay, you know, we're not gonna get our Sun Card back, and we probably should have used that for visibility, but at least we didn't get hit yet another time. Get our Chaos Card back here. Yeah, um, we're, we're getting an okay score here. Like I said, I've seen scores in the 20s and the 30s on dailies, but oftentimes I, I've seen like 15,000 as well. I still don't know what 15,000 means. There's like a 15,000 what? 15,000 uh, gold doubloons? 15,000 cows mooing on the hill? I got no idea. But, um... I, uh... I'm gonna just... We'll see where we rank relative to my friends and stuff, I guess. Okay, we got actual HP, which is sweet because we can trade it. And then we got nothing we really want to trade it for, so we'll leave. And again, I don't even know if you get deals with the devil, uh, or you get points for taking deals with the devil, so maybe I just uh, handcuffed myself by not taking a shitty item. I'll have to look closer at the formula later. Well, we might not even have anything to reroll here, but I'll tell you what. We don't really care about the steam sale because there's only one floor left, so let's do that with our four room. And just reroll it, see what we get. And hopefully it'll be something a little bit better, some kind of mapping maybe. It is the fanny pack. Is it better? I don't know. It's okay. Maybe a second secret room here? Still a bad habit to push those bombs. I don't even know where the room would be if it was adjacent here. I'm assuming like near these rocks. Maybe it can't even be. Oh, did it reroll the deals with the devil? No. Fantastic. Down to the next floor, like I said, 30 seconds or so ahead of uh, the timer for boss rush, but I really don't want to fight for boss rush. Uh, with this run that we've got right now, but if, if I have to, I have to. I don't know, maybe if you just take an item from Boss Rush, you get the points regardless, but... Seems like something I'd want to find out, you know, before we really started it. Well, the moon is a teleport card. Maybe we'll hold on to the moon just, just as a, 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 a wait and see. And hopefully that'll work out for us. I guess if we teleport out and then back in fast enough... We could still get... We could still do it if we had to. Well, we got another moon card, so I'll tell you what. We'll moon right now. It was very useful, actually, to get that extra spirit heart. It doesn't really matter whether we hold the moon or the hermit, but we've already been to the secret room, so... Maybe it's slightly better, or markedly better, even, for us to have, uh, the hermit. I think this daily's going okay. It actually seems, if I may say so myself, fun. Maybe a little too easy, though. Not that I, I want it to necessarily be harder. I'm kind of of the opposite opinion of most people. Like, most people I've seen them talking saying, well, not most people. Most people I've seen talking, though, are like, greed mode is a little bit too easy. Like, it's too easy to get the items you need and to break the game. I don't know, man. I I, I don't necessarily agree right off the cut. I, I've been finding greed mode much more difficult um, than, the, than the base game. But, you know, maybe I'm a slow learner. And I know you're probably like, yeah, you are a slow learner. Yo, you gotta learn etiquette, man. It's okay for me to say it. It's not okay for you to say it. The Hierophant so clutch. You can make fun of yourself, but you can't make fun of anybody else if you respect them unless they give you the, uh, the okay. We got little chest there. What's in the box? I'm assuming that's some kind of, uh, consumable augmenter. Maybe it synergizes well with the sackhead item that I still don't fully understand at all. Um, I think we should just buy the Spirit Heart. Probably get out of here. Hierophant again. And the Devil. Oh, man. The Devil 
probably allows us to do boss rush and actually kill the enemies. We'll be slow about it, depending on what we get from our deal with the devil, if there is a deal with the devil, but... I think we gotta try. I think we owe it to ourselves to give it a shot. Go the extra mile. The one advantage I might have over some Isaac players is that I've prioritized boss rush for so long that it might actually be, um... easier or more likely for me to get there and actually do it than most people, I think. We, we've pretty much done this whole floor. Let's get it going. Obviously, Mom's not gonna be really able to handle this. I recognize, by the way, that I uh, have left my Chaos card behind. I did it intentionally, but I probably should have used the Chaos card against the adversary if I wasn't going to use it at all. Uh, again, what my intention was originally to use it against Mom, but... I've, I've changed my mind here. Mom's dead. No deal with the devil. Let's take, uh, let's take the Polaroid and try to do Boss Rush. Rubber Cement. Blue Baby's only friend. Speed Upgrade. Bean. I mean, we might as well pop this right away, right? It'll guarantee us, well, pop that, but then also pop this. And it'll guarantee us not taking damage against those guys. Alright, so we're starting against the haunts. And the adversary. So, the pattern has changed, I've seen. Book of Shadows is not going to be very useful for me, I think. Rubber cements an item. Oh! The haunt is still alive! We got... <laughs> At least it's only Spider Haunt, but still, man. It's like one of these guys has got to die. Okay. We can't hit that guy. I don't know how I dodged that. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Whoa, Book of Shadows is back. Let's pop. We should be popping it. If it, if it pops every wave, we have to. Uh, we have to use it as often as possible. Where's my horse at? There we go. There's a little red bead on the ground. Is that Rosary Bead? Rosary bead, you're looking different. Slipping and sliding on the poop here. Splip, splish, splash, I was taking a bath. All up on a Saturday early afternoon, if I'm being realistic here. The dailies roll over at 3 a.m. I'm not going to be there right when the dailies roll over. Let's, let's not be absurd here. Rub-a-dub, just splashing in the tub. Hoping in a field. Anyway, that splish, splash, I was taking a bath. The, the, the king of all novelty songs, if I may be so... Bold. Wow, this champion Mega Maw is actually a piece of shit, man. We, that is Rosary Bead. I thought we were done there for a second. Well, learning a new uh, set of patterns for Boss Rush is fine by me. Every wave that finishes, we get two charges on Book of Shadows, man. That actually makes uh, some spacebar items so much better for this. Imagine, like, Krampus's head. Uh, this is a pin that turns into the that uh, mini-boss from Mega Man X on Launch Octopus's stage. It's freaking me out a little bit. That was horrifying, but pin probably did need some kind of buff, so that's cool. Getting so many spirit hearts here as well. We should probably hold Rosary Bead to maybe facilitate that. Alright, so normally on Boss Rush, when I see the Fallen, I'm like, dope, it's the Fallen. We're done. Basically. This time I have not seen that, so I, I cannot be as confident about that, I suppose. Uh, I think it's like the first hit we've taken, unless I'm mistaken. Alright, we probably got more. Let's be realistic. There should be more bosses now, right? Because there's, there's just more bosses in the game. Classic Northern Lion commentary. There should be more bosses... Because there's more bosses. Just run that one through the old noggin for a little while. See what you come up with. Again, this is another enemy where when I see uh, Mask of Infamy, I'm normally like, oh, we must be close to the end. But that may or may not be the case anymore. This is a very powerful run, though. I'm extremely pleased with what we've gotten. Alright, now we got horsemen. We've got one horseman. I don't know if we've got horsemen. Got freaking! I, I, there's no logic anymore. I gotta rememorize how these enemies actually come out. Man, Champion Gate is pretty annoying as well. Thank you, Infamy, for the huge help there. You are dead. You are dead. You are dead. A little dangerous, but that's okay. Oh, I stepped on the creep, and I dropped the battery. This guy. It's another horseman. This will be our second horseman taken care of. Our points haven't really been going down. They've mostly been staying pretty static. Oh, it's the champion Dingle, which means... Doesn't that mean there's another enemy somewhere else around here? 
I thought that's what that meant. We did it. We killed Boss Rush. We got hot bombs. Check it and see. I got a fever of 103. Lover's card. Fantastic. The, mother. the lovers. That's not the end of our daily. We're going on. All right. This is this is what I was hoping for is the ability to get like an awesome uh, a higher score. I don't know why yesterday's daily just ended at mom. Maybe that was like sometimes it just ends early. I don't know. So I guess now I'm trying to think of the new meta that we should use for um, for space bar items. Because if a big room charges a space bar item, ah, we gotta try it, right? Like, let's go for broke now. If a big room charges a space bar item multiple times, does it make a sound? No, we should uh, probably use our uh, our space bar item more often on big rooms. Is my opinion, at least. All right. Hopefully, we get a deal with the devil here. I, I have no doubt that we could win this run, assuming we're just going to the normal areas. I don't know if we're gonna fight super secret special boss that we've already fought a couple times, um, but it, it might be possible. It, the boss is so freaking tanky that uh, I would worry a little bit about our chances. But for now, it's working out okay. This is a run. I think we've already gotten a higher score than yesterday. Not really a surprise, considering. Uh, We've gone further as well, but ah, uh, we don't we don't really want the ability to teleport. I think, you know, there's still a chance for us to become Guppy, so maybe we'll check this out. I immediately regret this decision, but life goes on. I guess we're getting a lot of consumables uh, when we get hit, or just like as we kill enemies because of like we have the sack head, which I still don't know what it does, but I'm assuming it's something to do with our uh... Ooh, explosive diarrhea. Uh, I'm assuming it's something to do with, with treasure and making those sacks appear more often, which it definitely seems like they have. Um, and then we have the treasure box, which again, I don't really know what it does, but that's okay as well. No tinted rocks? No. Um, and then we also have fanny pack, which I mostly know what it does. It gives you a better chance of getting... Or it gives you a, a good chance to get consumables when you get hit. Two of hearts for the 30th time. Not that interested. Definitely interested in this, though. Alrighty. This is uh, just a disgusting amount of batteries. I'm just going to use two of clubs right away. We have Temperance, which I don't care about. Our 300th two of hearts. Which at this point has got me thinking, am I somehow... Is something I'm doing causing these two of hearts to show up? Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. It might be my fault, though. Maybe I'm missing some kind of... Some kind of super secret synergy with it I'm not familiar with. Uh, Maggie's Faith. I think it's a little too little too late for Maggie's Faith, honestly. Wow! After all of that semi-ridiculousness, Loki! The most basic boss for us to be facing with Screw, an item we're already very familiar with, followed by nothing. No deal with the devil. So this is probably what we're stuck with until at least the chest. I say at least because I have no idea what comes after that. Oh, bad dodging on my part. Like, very poor positioning, but I made it happen. Made it work. Didn't need to be in this room to begin with. Don't see any tinted rocks. Alright, most important thing for us is just don't take any damage. Or don't take any damage that isn't productive, if that makes sense. Some damage is productive in the sense that it's hard to avoid. Black lipstick, evil up. Actually, kind of prefer the rosary bead if my rebirth experience is anything to go on, but... Could be mistaken. I kind of wanted to see what we got there. Small rock would be awesome. Okay, that's also still good. I'm not going to worry too much about trying to make sure that multi-dimensional baby hooks us up. Ah, uh, Ansu's rune I will use. Um, mostly what I'm concerned about with multi-dimensional baby is just nothing. <laughs> as long as I'm, uh, as long as it's around and I have rubber cement especially, I'll be hitting it occasionally. Empress is a better card for us, so uh, I don't mind that I'm not really prioritizing it. Maybe it's a suboptimal solution, but I, I don't think it's bad. And any da bonus damage that we get from it, I think, is kind of just a luxury. Like especially we get damage oftentimes just to start the start the floor, which is or start the room, which is good. We'll throw down a judgment. It's a regular judgment. I think a world card beats the Empress card for us right here. Um, you know what? Sure, let's let's give this guy some money. Is that costing me? Yeah, we do want. Oh no, Horror of Babylon! You fool! You fool! Oh, that's a that's a Northern Lion mistake that should not have happened. I picked it up because I was like, two HP is always better than one HP on the 
on the womb and beyond that is not true. It is true if you uh, if you are not Eve or do not have the Horror of Babylon or I guess permanent Polaroid invincibility. So that's unfortunate, but hey, we got a Joker card, which I can use on this floor. And I'm going to use it right away to get this shit out of the way. So we got Incubus out of it. Um, which is actually a huge help for us because of the fact that all of its shots, I think, will also get multiplied by, uh... Will get multiplied by multi-dimensional baby. So to be honest with you, we got pretty lucky here to not get, uh, screwed more than we we actually did. And I, I thank the, the gods of the Daily Challenge for letting that happen. Thank you, Infamy. Okay, stop shooting. That's the only way you're gonna get this guy killed. Good. Good. Okay. It lives. Mind you, I will get, I will agree that we could have just gotten a deal with the devil normally as well. Like, it's completely plausible. We didn't have to use our Joker card. And we could have used it on the next floor, but I really wanted Horror Battle on ASAP, so... It is what it is. Uh, okay. We, we gotta try, right? As much as I'd love to just go straight down to the cathedral, I think we have to give Hush a try, because it's probably worth a substantial amount of, uh... Of points for us. But this is, I'll admit, that we could conceivably die here. So we got golden bombs, which means we can place bombs as much as we want. We'll also just blow up this. Oh, curved horn! My hero! Uh, and also, possibly some item rooms. Okay, so one of these is tractor beam, which I've seen before. I don't know what the other one is. These two are just hot trash. Please be small rack. Uh, small rack! Please be small rock. Um... I don't know what we want there. What is this? There's like more options. There's even more options. Does this work for our item rooms? No, at least not. Uh, it doesn't work backwards at least. Let's try the non-tractor beam item. Continuum, transcendent tears. Oh, is these, are these the ones that would then like loop around the other side or something? This is gonna be very confusing. I don't think we take Bob's brain yet. Um, I don't think I can justify it. And then a death card. All right, well let's uh, let's give it a shot. I honestly still don't really have high hopes here for this. We do have infamy. We do have fanny pack. You know, we're doing a, a really nice amount of damage, but hush is also like an extremely tanky boss. We're actually doing more damage than I thought, which I feel like that's something that I say a lot when I'm fighting uh, hush. I'm always like, man, we're kind of doing better than I expected. It's not that his shots are necessarily difficult to dodge, it's just that the boss takes 300 years to actually kill. And we do have Book of Shadows, but unlike, um... We should use bombs, I suppose, as well. Unlike, um... Normal for us... Excuse me, where is... Where is the, the hush? <laughs> uh, unlike normal, um... I actually forgot what I was gonna say. I, I got so confused by the fact that he was not spawning that I was, uh, he threw me out of my element. Now, on this fight, we do have to focus on dodging, but we should also focus on trying to maybe get a little bit more value out of, uh, multi-dimensional baby. I have no idea what's going on with our tears. At this point, if you have photosensitivity, I would encourage you to look away from the screen. I will try to paint a, a picture for you about what's happening. Um, there's a lot of flashing lights on the screen, and, um, you should still keep looking away. I'm not sure which one of these are my tears and which one of these are his tears. But we're more than halfway through the fight. We have not been hit. I don't even think we've had Infamy uh, go yet. That's a cool animation. Hot bombs seem pretty good against a boss like uh, Hush that uh, is going to stand in mostly the same place over and over. So that fire is just going to is going to do gangbusters for us, I think. And honestly, I, I have never died to Hush. So I really feel like... Um, I got a pretty good track record here. That day will come. Oh, there's our permanent Polaroid invincibility. The day will come when I die to Hush, but it's not going to be today. Just keep making sure we're using multi-dimensional baby as often as possible. Getting a little brimstone in there as often as possible. We're very, very nearly done with this. Is that a new attack? I don't. I've, I've definitely seen this one before. Uh, it's maybe a pretty clutch book of shadows. Husk is, or the hush is dead. We'll be leaving this floor now with a range down pill. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what our score looks like after that one. It didn't change at all. Wait, um, we're in Shoal. Why do we go to Shoal? I'd like to. Pardon me. I'd like to do one extra floor, please. <laughs> um, 
Did I make a colossal mistake and go down instead of getting in like the cathedral spot or something? I don't think that I did. But maybe I did. Maybe I made a colossal fuck up. Ansu Strun. I mean, I guess we'll moon card. What is this? Ru oh, rune bag. We just unlocked this. Uh, like in our last episode, I think. Curse room sucks pretty bad. Oh, okay. We're going to come back in quickly and we'll... Eat shit on that one. We got a Chaos card to use against Satan. That seems pretty good. This has been a fun run. Even if I kind of fucked it up. Which I honestly don't know if I did, to be 100% honest with you. I kind of... I mean, I could see myself making that mistake. But at the same time, I'd be surprised if I did. If you know what I mean. Can't afford to leave consumables behind. That is a spiked or cursed chest. Um, it's okay. We're going this way. To strike the balance between, you know, time spent and time saved uh, to get new items. I mean, you get like 30 seconds worth of time for picking up a consumable, right? So, seems like that's the way you should handle it, but I don't know. I don't know. We are clearing house here pretty easily. Are you telling me this guy is not dead? He showed up for like a quarter of a second. That's uh, a little bit bullshit if you ask me. All right, which enemy do we kill with the Chaos card? I think we gotta kill probably the Feet. Yeah, because the Fallen just did nothing. And then Satan is dead. All right, get ready. We're going to try to make him fall on the right side of us. And he is dead. We are now done. As much as I would like to keep going, we're now done. So you know what? There we go. We'll take the, we'll take the, that... We're rank 684th. Not too good on time. Man, that damage penalty is killer. I really could have uh, lowered that. But uh, hey, rank 684th is pretty good. Let's see where we rank uh, amongst my friends there. So E, global, Bilbo Swaggins. That's a heck of a score there. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Bear hasn't done it yet, so he's still got a chance. But come on. Eluk. Mathis, what are you doing? For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.